Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Psalm chapter 20. Over the years, as I've signed notes to people or written letters and signed a verse at the bottom of the letter, I've often used Psalm chapter 20, verses four and five. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purposes. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord Jehovah fulfill all your petitions. Now, this is a wonderful, wonderful praise and prayer psalm of David, as it says in the title, to the chief musician, a prayer of David. So David, uh, a, Dave, a psalm of David, David wrote this psalm, of course, and he was writing it, telling about the people of God that would pray for him before they went into battle. David was a warrior king. He was a king who had to fight many, many battles. Now, David never instigated war with the nations around him, but if he was attacked, he fought back, and he gained the territory that God had promised to the nation of Israel. Matter of fact, David was uh, not able to build the temple, if you'll remember, that he so desired to build for the Lord because Nathan told him, you're a bloody man, you're a man of war. You have too much blood on your hands from war. David was a warrior king. Now, some people say, well, we should not go to war. And of course, I'm, I'm convinced war is a terrible, terrible thing. Nobody wants to see a nation or a people have to go to war, send their sons and their fathers off to war, their sons, their daughters, their families go into battle and possibly lose their lives fighting a, 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 another enemy. But uh, war is uh, something that is going to happen as, as on planet Earth as long as mankind still has a sinful heart. In the Garden of Eden, Cain rose up and killed his brother. The first two boys that were ever born, Cain and Abel, one killed the other. There's war in people's hearts because of greed and covetousness, because of jealousy, and uh, this th because of all the different terrible things in man's heart, desperately wicked, war happens. And God has designed that his people who are righteous and good should be a deterrent against war. Matter of fact, we are to punish that which is evil, that our military and our police force, the Bible says they're a terror, to be a terror to evil. They're ministers of God. And so when they go to war, they're literally fighting on behalf of God's righteousness and God's goodness and keeping people that are God's people, people that believe in God that don't want war, keeping them safe and secure. No, we don't want war. David didn't want war, but war is a fact of human life and it must be faced. Now, often as I've read through the Psalms, and we're going to read a few verses here to get us into Psalm chapter 20. But as I've read through the Psalms, I've often pictured the fact that as a believer, as a follower of Jesus Christ, we are at war. The Bible says we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. We're to put on the whole armor of God. We're to understand that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We're at war with the flesh. We're at war with satanic forces, evil, demonic forces. And so I've often gone through these Psalms that are dealing with these battles, the wars that David would fight with the people of God. And I would uh, picture myself at war and needing God's help. And so what we have in Psalm 20 here is a plea, a plea, a prayer of help. It starts in verse 1, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. It ends in verse 9, Save, Lord, may the king answer us when we call. And so you have a petition from the people of God calling out to God to ask him for his help in the time of trouble, in the time of war. And so we see this take place in this chapter. So the first five verses are the people of God praying for David as he goes to war, for the king as he leads the battle into war. And then you see in verses 6 through 8 that there's a confident leader of God knowing that God will give them the victory. And then the people of God again saying, Lord, hear us when we call. And so this is a plea for God's help in the time of trouble. A great plea for you and I. 
May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. May he answer all your prayers as you seek him going through the battles of life every day. This is a great psalm to encourage us in that matter. Well, God bless you and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.